This afternoon, we want to talk about the ballot or the bullet. The ballot or the bullet explains itself. But before we get into it, since this is the year of the ballot or the bullet, I would like to clarify some things that refer to me personally concerning my own personal position. I'm still a Muslim. That is, my religion is still Islam. My religion is still Islam. I still credit Mr. Muhammad for what I know and what I am. He's the one who opened my eyes. And so today, though Islam is my religious philosophy, my political, economic, and social philosophy is black nationalism. You and I... As I say, if we bring up religion, we'll have differences, we'll have arguments, we'll never be able to get together. But if we keep our religion at home, keep our religion in the closet, keep our religion between ourselves and our God, but when we come out here, we have a fight that's common to all of us against the enemy who is common to all of us. Whether you, are, whether you are a Christian or a Muslim or a nationalist, we all have the same problem. They don't hang you because you're a Baptist, they hang, hang you because you're black. They don't attack me because I'm a Muslim, they attack me because I'm black. They attack all of us for the same reason. All of us catch hell from the same enemy. We're all in the same bag in the same boat. We suffer political oppression, economic exploitation, and social degradation, all of them from the same enemy. The government has failed us. You can't deny that. Anytime you live in the 20th century and you walking around here singing, we shall overcome, the government has failed. This is part of what's wrong with you. You do too much singing. Today it's time to stop singing and start swinging. And I'm, I'm here to tell you in case you don't know it, that you got a new, you got a new generation of black people in this country who don't care anything whatsoever about odds. They don't want to hear you old Uncle Tom handkerchief heads talking about uh, the odds, no. This is a new generation. If they're gonna draft these young black men and send them over to Korea or South Vietnam to face 800 million Chinese, If you're not afraid of those odds, you shouldn't be afraid of these odds. And when I speak, I don't speak as a Democrat or a Republican, nor an American. I speak as a victim of America's so-called democracy. You and I have never seen democracy. All we've seen is hypocrisy. We don't see any American dream. We've experienced only the American nightmare. And the generation that's coming up now can see it and are not afraid to say it. If, if you go to jail, so what? If you're black, you were born in jail. If you're black, you were born in jail in the North as well as the South. Stop talking about the South. Long as you south of the, long as you south of the Canadian border, you're South. <laughs> this is
is why I say it's the ballot or the bullet. It's liberty or it's death. It's freedom for everybody or freedom for nobody. America today finds herself in a unique situation. Historically, revolutions are bloody. Oh, yes, they are. They have never had a bloodless revolution or a nonviolent revolution. That don't happen even in Hollywood. You don't have a revolution in which you love your enemy. And you don't have a revolution in which you are begging the system of exploitation to integrate you into it. Revolutions overturn systems. Revolutions destroy systems. A revolution is bloody. But America is in a unique position. She's the only country in history in a position actually to become involved in a bloodless revolution. All she's got to do is give the black man in this country everything that's doing. Everything. I hope that the white man can see this. Because if you don't see it, you're finished. If you don't see it, you're going to become in, you're going to become involved in some action in which you don't have a chance. We don't care anything about your atomic bomb. It's, it's useless because other countries have atomic bombs. When two or three different countries have atomic bombs, nobody can use it. So it means that the white man today is without a weapon. If, you're gonna, if you want some action, you gotta come on down to earth. And there's more black people on earth than there are white people on earth. It'll be It'll be the, the ballot, or it'll be the bullet. It'll be liberty, or it'll be death. And if you're not ready to pay that price, don't use the word freedom in your vocabulary.